guys, my name is Paul McLeod. I'm the main client tech here at Infinite Performance. Currently finishing up a build for a customer out in France. His name's Adrian, you might have seen on YouTube, and he's quite popular in France. I've currently just finished the build for the engine. So all it's really got at the moment is upgraded connecting rods, uh, sort of own connecting rods rated at 1800 wheel horsepower. Right. So a very big upgrade compared to the standard connecting rods that come with these engines. I finished the engine build, now all I need to do is bolt the ancillaries on. Once it's done, I can take the engine out and put the gearbox back on. Once it's all together, the engine is, will be ready to go back into the car. Once we're done with that, just pop that up and see how it run. What's unique about this type of engine compared to the majority of engines that we work on is it's a V engine. It's also different compared to a lot of our other engines because it uses a dry sump system. So the engine actually splits in half, which is very different compared to the majority of inline engines that we work on. These don't have sumps, as it says in the name, dry sump. So there's no sump to remove and there's no connecting caps. It's all built into one main component, which is the ladder frame. So it is quite interesting putting the pistons in, but also having to like retain the crank and stuff like that. There's a lot that goes on. Another unique thing about these engines is because it's a view set up, there's two cylinder heads. So it's a wee bit, a bit more difficult to time these engines. Uh, there's a lot more involved. You know, there's more tensioners, guides, chains, you know, just everything. There's two of everything, so it's just a bit more complicated. But it was quite fun, quite a fun process because uh, it's different to what I'm used to. There's not like a lot to do, but there is like the majority of the work is building the engine. But now it's just loads of wee things that need to come together. Once that's done, you can get the car primed, started, see what it is, check for coating leaks, oil leaks, me trimming's okay there. Once that's done, bring down, road test it, get it tuned, you know, all the good stuff. And uh, hopefully this is a um, successful build. The same with timing the engine as well, and uh, because it's a V setup, those two cylinder heads. Oh man, we're trying to record. Fine with the bomb. I think we're that. It's more timing to be honest with you than uh, just. Oh, that's right,
Oh, we've only shut my face. Hi guys, I'm building in the corner today. It's my baby. It took me 46 man hours in two days to do, so I'm just going to have a little bit of call with me. What, what is your morning going to do? Nothing. I'm not morning. Uh, can you describe your role at Is It Bonus and how do you work? Uh, Sean, how do you get involved in it? Uh, Kira, I'm currently using Sean's AirPods. Uh, <laughs> this is John. <laughs> so, Sean, when did the call on the Uh, Last night. She said last night. No problem. See you later, She said you're a fucking nightmare. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I.